Welcome back, everyone, to April's Trail Yap. So this is something a little bit different. We're actually in the RV at AOAA in central Pennsylvania. Um, so this was not a last minute trip, but it was kind of... We, we decided, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Yeah, it wasn't on our radar. It wasn't something we had planned out like we do for this year, but... Um, but we're here, we're here at the campground. Um, so I guess to start off, um, this is something kind of different. We don't normally go away for a few days. Uh, we actually left on Thursday and we rode Friday, Saturday, which is today. And then Sunday we are going to head home. Yep. Um, normally we do a lot longer. So we, Met a couple in West Virginia two years ago, just shy our, of two years ago. On our first trip. On our very first trip. Um, they have a Facebook page called Northeast Trail Junkies. And uh, they've got a group. They're up to 12,000 something. They've got now. like uh, 12,000 people on this group on Facebook. Um, check them out. They. A lot of stuff goes on on that page. But anyway, they planned a trip to come here, and we figured we'd uh, meet them about halfway. We'd head here, too. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Um, so day one, we did the, is that the eastern or western? I, I don't know. Western. Even, we did the western side, because there, mm -hmm. so there's two sides on the map. Um. And east side, west side. So we did that side the first day. We rode a, with them yesterday. Morning. Yeah, had a breakdown. Um, <laughs> and get uh, Damien had to get his machine winched up the hill. Broken axle. Broken axle. First thing, um, that was at the at the bottom from what they said. So that pretty much consumed most of the day. We came back here, got some lunch. And then our second day today, um, we kind of just tootled around over on the western part, right? Eastern. Eastern part. We went all the way out the other side of the map and just kind of zigzagged and made our way back. Um, so what do you think about this place? Like, it's what a lot smaller than the places we're used to going. Yeah, because I think we only did like 15 miles or something. At 13 miles one day, 15 the next. Um, we're used to doing upwards to between 50 and 80. Um, so what would you, how would you compare it? Like what's here that interests you? I like the town. The town's nice. The town. Shemokin, Pennsylvania. It's an old coal town and they've got little restaurants and um, shops and things all kind of dispersed throughout the town. It's pretty neat. And you can ride your side by side from the, from the trails in all the way into town. Which is nice. Um, mm -hmm. We went and got something to eat there today on the side by side. We went and got something to eat yesterday, but we took the pickup because uh, we were unfamiliar about how to get there. Um, right now, it's like four o'clock. The trails close at five. Um, it's raining out. So we figured we would do this video. Um, so what is like trail wise on the trails? What is there that you, you would want to go see? Or is it as far as like attractions or yeah, something? Yeah. I don't think there's anything. I think. I think this place is a lot of just riding the trails. Um, I see it as I feel McCoy has a lot of stuff that you can actually see. Um, there's just old buildings or equipment, um, stuff along the way, old portals to mines and 
vent tubes, things like that, that are just something you don't see every day. Um, and you can ride from your starting point to a town to go get some lunch and then ride back and look at some more stuff or, or ride to go get dinner. Um, that's not here. That's you go all the way out to a dead end and then you can make your way back. There's a lot of other trails. I'm not saying that there's not a lot of trails. There's, there's yeah, a lot. There's, there's pretty easy trails. There's some intermediate trails. There's hard trails. There's Jeep trails. There's no Jeep trails. Like trails yeah. only for side by sides and ATVs. Um, so that's pretty neat. I mean, there's something for just about everybody here. Um, they do lock the gates at 5:30. So if you're not off the trail, you have to call them and they have to come let you out, and they're not happy about it. So that's something that we're not used to. Yeah. Some they I did notice today mm -hmm. that on the, some of the gates they do have on there that they will charge you a late fee. Mm -hmm. Um, if they have to let you out, even their parking lot has a gate on it. So if your vehicle's in there with the trailer. Now, I will say that this is not a place for you if you want to come here to drink in a parking lot, drink on the trails, horse around. They have a lot of rules here, um, which doesn't bother us because we don't do any of that stuff. Um, they want to look through your cooler they want to do whatever go ahead help yourself i don't care um just make sure you close it because i don't want to come and open but um there are rules uh, which which is good because if you don't have rules things kind of go to the wayside i guess it looks pretty bad um but they seem to enforce those rules um, they make it so there's no way to get onto the trail unless you go through that part um through the entrance way and they're fully staffed. I mean, they're not, this isn't some little joke thing. I mean, they've got security in the parking lot. They, if you're here, you're parked in the parking lot, I feel like it's a safe place to be. Because um, you got a lot of stuff. You, you bring a lot of stuff with you. You might have to leave stuff in the parking lot. Um, people do work on stuff in the parking lot. Because you are going to break something. We did experience that on the first day. We didn't break anything. Um, the group we were with had, what, four breakdowns yesterday, all on different vehicles. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A belt. <laughs> and then they broke another axle this morning. Yeah. On the second day, <laughs> they, they had one mishap that we know of. But um, I don't know. Um, I think is different than, than what we're used to. Um, it's very rocky. So keep mm -hmm. that in mind. I'm trying to think. They the only couple things we saw, like I took some some videos of stuff of some of those crazy trails, but we didn't really see anybody um, doing those trails where we could stop and actually video them doing that. Um, with this place being so much smaller than the places we usually go, we still didn't see all that many people on the trails. We didn't run into that many people. A lot of dirt bikes. Yeah. Um, a lot of those. Kinda. What are you doing? Fine. He wants his ball. What are you doing, bud? Yeah. You got it. All right. But <laughs> this was... Uh, supposed to be a four-hour drive from us but we had to make some stops um it is on the cold side because at night it's chilly so this is uh yesterday was really windy too so this is just about april 1st um so yeah it's still a little chilly up here so the campground's nice um it is a stone road when you come in off the blacktop, it is literally right across the street from the trailhead. Yeah. Um, what is, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> um, but there's a stone hill. It's a driveway with stone. You have to come down and you're going to have to get back out. Um, looks to be like 
nobody's really had any issues. Um, but it's very hilly towards mm -hmm. the end of that ride to get into here. Um, now, for anyone that's thinking about coming to the campground, you need to come through town. And when I say come through town, you need to come through Shemokin. Shemokin. Because if you come through the other side, it's a super, super steep road. Um, that road is no joke. Uh, it's, it goes down very steep if you're leaving here. And if you're trying to get here, it is up. And I think the sign said a mile and a half. It's far. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was a mile and a half. And, and it doesn't and tell you the grade, but it was pretty steep. There's a grade sign, but there's no number on it. And it is a hard turn in the road. It is a switchback mm -hmm. that drops you straight into town. And at that stop sign, there is a building in front of you. Um, Not and you make a left the other town, right. whatever that was. Well, I'm talking about going down the hill. Yeah. Um, so you you got to make sure you stop at that stop sign, but I wouldn't recommend going in that way or leaving that way. Uh, Damien was nice enough to let me know that don't yeah. come this way, yeah. come through Shemokin. So. It's a little bit farther for us to go through Shemokin, but I think it was a good option. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So what do you think? Do you think we would come back or maybe? I like the other places we've been more, but I'd ride it again. But we're looking for other places to go um, mm -hmm. on our off time, so to speak, because we're pretty much doing wind rock twice a year. It's now. a long time from October to May without riding for us. Well, we do go in the summer. From October to May is a long time. Oh, October to May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I was thinking May to October. Um, so we're trying to figure out where to go after October, whether it's like November, January, something, something to do that maybe down south. But I don't know. Um, I guess it was all right. It was all right. It was all right. <laughs> it was different. It was definitely different. But it is just to ride. So you're not here to see anything. They do have some overlooks. Don't get me wrong. They have some overlooks you could do and yep. things like that. But this is definitely a different trail system. And it is rocky. So but I guess that's about it. And then uh, I guess next month we will be talking about wind rock. Um, we were going to talk about that this month, but we will be doing that next month because we will be going to Wind Rock in May. All right, I guess we'll wrap it up and uh, I'll post some pictures in this so you can check it out. And that's about it. Yep. We're out of here. <laughs> See you next month. Yeah. Bye.